Hey, welcome to Square Body Stuff. I'm Chad, and today we're going to be putting some, uh, wherever they're at, right there, some racing harnesses in old Squeaky. Squeaky's my 78 C10 short bed. Been playing around with him. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, just setting him up for uh, No Name Nationals, an event at the end of this month, which is September, uh, 1st of October, the last weekend. Of September and uh, yeah it's a YouTube event we've entered into it we're gonna go there and have some fun there's gonna be bracket racing there's gonna be grudge matches there's gonna be a car show there's gonna be a burnout contest there's gonna be all sorts of fun they have monkey bike races I'm not entered into that I didn't I didn't take the time to buy a monkey bike but maybe next year uh, this is the first annual first inaugural of no name nationals event so go check that out on the website. Link is in the description box below. All right, so last video, I got my seats installed. Uh, I didn't show installing my roll bar or the harness bar, roll bar combo thing. Uh, but I got that done. Uh, seats, console. So now we're ready to do the harnesses. I've got a set of race quip. Uh, seven one one zero zero one five point harnesses. Um, gone through summit, of course. Summit's always even in this day and time when we're having issues with products coming in. Uh, so far, they've seen me really pull through and always have exactly what I need. So, they came in. Thank you, Summit. Thank you, Race Quip. Uh, so far, I'm using Race Quip for all my safety equipment. Uh, that I have right now. I've got their harnesses and uh, fire jacket. I was thinking there might be something else, but maybe not. Uh, I do need to get a set of fire pants and really like to get a new helmet. But I've got a helmet that's okay for now, so that may be a that may be a Christmas present or something for me. But anyways, I'm gonna make some brackets i gotta figure out the instructions make sure i'm gonna do it right because you've got the instruction there is a, a right and a wrong way to install these harnesses uh, you don't want your shoulder belts to be angled to be pulling down uh, they need to have a bar or something to the back because in the event of a crash and you're being pulled forward and a uh, and that belt is going down what it's going to do is actually compress your spine it's going to try to pull you down instead of just hold you back so you don't ever want to loop them back down straight you want to have them back at an angle uh, follow the instructions on that and there's instructions on all of it so just go through make sure you read them and understand them and because the whole point of this is to be safe you don't want these to cause any extra harm to you in event of a crash now I'm going to make some seatbelt brackets to mount to the floor uh, out of this old angle iron that I found had some laying in scrap because this is all I had left of the pretty much new piece I had that I planned on using for this but I ended up using all but that little bit for my brackets for my seats so I scrounged around I found this piece a little bit rusty but it's not bad it'll clean right up and look pretty um, at least pretty enough for old squeaky there so I'm gonna kind of measure out figure out where I'm gonna put my brackets uh, and do all that fun stuff and then we'll get to cutting and drilling and getting all that figured out so if that sounds interesting to you hang out uh, if not I guess you can cruise on down the road go to somewhere else go watch kitty cats play piano or something but uh, there's all sorts of interesting stuff on the YouTubes, but uh, I'm just kind of showing you guys what I'm doing with my old truck. So anyways, I'm going to get to it, try to do some, uh, use my old noodle and try to figure out how I'm going to do this. And so that might take me a little bit, but I'll get back with you as soon as I get it all figured out. I'll probably go ahead and do the shoulder harnesses because there's no mounting tabs or anything for them. They're just going to wrap right around the bar. So I'll get that figured out. I'll probably, what I'll try to do is get it figured out, make sure I do it right, which I've done them before. It's like a lot of this stuff I've done it before. It's just been 
a lot of years and my memory doesn't work very well anymore or never never really has but I'm gonna get it figured out and then I'll set up the camera and I'll show you guys the best way to do that and actually what I might do is is set it up on a I got a piece of pipe laying here I can clamp it to the table it'd make it a little easier to uh, show you how to how to or wrap that harness bar around or that harness belt not the harness belt yeah harness belt shoulder belt uh, around that pipe so I'll uh, I'll get that set up and we'll get that figured out already run into an issue I'm gonna have to change my game plan on the shoulder straps because my seats are so close to my harness bar now these are long and designed to actually reach to the floor after you wrap it around a bar it's got these tabs here so I'm just gonna have to make extra mounts to go to the floor for the harness bar and uh, that won't be that big of a deal That'll keep that buckle. That buckle is going to be kind of a pain. Uh, I'll be cutting into my neck possibly. I might be able to move a little further back, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. So I think it might be easier for the adjustment if I make some tabs to go down to the floor and do it that way. Yeah. I can't ever do anything simple. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna redo the that. But really, we're not. You're not supposed to mount this stuff to the floor. I know I said that earlier. That I was gonna do that, but you know, I also said we need to do it right. So I'm gonna do it right. Uh, you're supposed to either mount it to the frame or to the. The cage which you know obviously my cage is just a hoop and a harness bar across the back so I'm gonna just gonna look it over figure something out uh, I know I'll probably run a tube down here low all the way across the back and that will give me a mounting point for my harness or for my shoulders. I don't know why I keep calling that the harness. It's all, but this that will give me something to mount for my harness. Which you know, then technically this is only welded to the sheet metal too. So you know how picky you want to get. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I ain't got time to build a full cage or really mount everything to the frame right now. But I'm. I do plan on eventually connecting these pads, these quarter inch pads that this roll bar is mounted to. I'm going to cut the cab out from underneath, drill holes, and have something mounted to the frame so I can actually, you know, bolt it all together and it'll be right there. And then eventually redo the floor pans, rockers, everything to make this right and have a mounting spot to the frame up here then have the bars you know have an actual uh, at least a four point cage inside the cab I'll probably have a door bar eventually I like to go out the back of the cab and look real cool and have the bars going down the frame and who knows we may uh, go out the front too just to stiffen it all up but that's just a little overkill for right now and that's not our objective our objective is to get these harnesses in there and so I'm going to refigure what I'm going to do. I think my best plan is to put a bar across the back and maybe just kind of make a loop that goes around the base of the seat and attach it to at least to the mounting hole where the seat, the original seat mounted to. And then maybe go from there. Um... Yeah, I don't know what I'd 
mount it to over on this side unless I just I don't know eh, another half day project is gonna turn into a probably two day project but that's fine that's good I just want to I want to make sure that you know it's right so I'll be back again hopefully with a good idea and not changing plans again but oh well we're on plan we're on like plan c or d so far on this harness project so just bear with me folks we'll get it figured out okay so now we're on plan d e f g i don't know now but i do have an actual direction i'm going in semi semi gonna commit to it so i'll show you what i've got going on yeah this is this is what you guys run into or this is what i run into when i'm building stuff because uh it's just it is what it is let me show you what i got so i measured from the center of the seat over to this upright and then measured over the same distance actually to the center of the upright on the other side so then I transferred that down to the floor. Camera's acting wonky. Anyways, uh, well, there's a lot of bracing and stuff done in there, but I just want to have a, a kind of a hole there to see what's going on and get an idea what we're doing. I'll figure out how to get all that cut through and go down to the frame in just a little bit. But I'll have a bar going from up there, or down there up to here and then in between I'll have a bar going from there to here for the rear seatbelt bar harness bar and then from there I'll go down and around the uh, the bottom of the seat and attach it to the floor somehow um now what i might do is yeah this is just it just keeps escalating it's like a little snowball and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger now what i could do is come from here and have a bar that comes down kind of the same angle as the seat and come down a two inch bar like the roll bar come down maybe come out here level so i have a nice armrest and then come down and connect it to the frame down here. Now I'll have to come in, or I can make a hoop that connects from the frame on both sides and just connect it straight to that hoop or on top of that hoop, something along those lines. And as the snowball gets bigger, I thought we could go from this point to get a little bit of triangulation on our roll bar since it'll be actually mounted to the frame, or at least a cross member of the frame, right there. I'll show you that in just a minute on the outside. But then from here, I can go up and angle it over to match this bar on the other side of the seat. That way the seat, you know, your head's kind of encapsulated and gets a little bit of triangulation in there for if, if I did roll it over. You know, it's it's going to be that much sturdier and actually be hooked to the frame. Possibly in, that'll be four points, but it won't be a perimeter on the outside. It'll be the inside. It's not the best, but it's a start. So here, I'm going to be coming in right around here on this cross member. And it's pretty much just about as heavy as the frame. It's not just a, it's not like the thinner one for the back or anything. It's, it's, it's a structural unit. That's where the cab mounts. So that'll be heavy enough to weld the tubes right to it. I think I've got enough room up underneath there that's going to hit it. I may have to weld a piece of something, the angle iron on the front of that cross member to get it i think i may be a little like a quarter inch off but i'll figure that out once i get holes cut and access holes and stuff like that so yeah that escalated kind of quickly 
But uh, let's keep trying to think of stuff I want to do and not have to undo it later. Uh, this will be semi-permanent because eventually I can I can cut into the cab and get to the bottom of the uh, the corners or the outside corners of these or outside legs rather of this roll bar and then attach it to the frame and I could even I mean just time is my biggest thing right now so I just want to get this truck ready and running and drivable and safe ish the safety I mean I, I shouldn't say safe ish I want safe but you know how far do you go <laughs> in the meantime because I mean I feel completely safe in the truck the way it was and actually I thought about you know going to plan Z or just circling right back around to plan A putting the factory seat belts back in here and call it a day and then do all of this on down the road uh, I still have I, you know I still do the factory belts I can still get my factory belt into here and I'd have to uh, get these bolts out because they broke off on the outside the inner ones were fine but that's the way I but that's the way I run my rock crawler ever since I put the plastic seats in it. I just had the factory lap belt, and it worked great. It worked fine. It kept us in. Didn't have any doors on it. Uh, still felt really safe because the seats hold you in really good. But uh, Typically, on that rock crawler, we weren't going very fast. This, you know, there's a potential. We're going to be going 100 miles an hour, roughly. Maybe more than that, hopefully. Uh, but anyways, so it's a little bit different ball game as far as the safety goes. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of do some digging and poking around some more and get I gotta get these seats back out, which they're a pain in the butt. Uh, I'm gonna well I done it on the passenger side because I got tired of fooling with the driver's side and these these carriage bolts um, so on the other side I just put regular bolts so I can actually use the impact on the top and just have a wrench underneath for a backup uh, this I have to uh, do it all underneath and it's a pain so I'll be getting new bolts for this and redoing this side too so that gave me a good opportunity to redo the bolts on this, but took the console out, I took my hump out, so I can kind of see where the frame's at, see where everything's at there, kind of decide what I'm going to do, because, I mean, right now, I have my tubing bender bent or set up, and I've got plenty of tubing to get this part done. Now, if I guess I really want to get ambitious, I could... Oh, I could do a full cage. I could still have that done in time for No Name Nationals. But, you know, since Stumpy, he's... <clears throat> excuse me. You know, we can still get that done. You know, since Stumpy is the one messing with the Plan B engine, I have all the time in the world to do all this. So, anyways... We're both running out of time. Uh, it's already, it's what, Thursday? I don't know, folks. I don't know.
me show you what I've got going on so far. Yeah. I got my holes cut in the back of the cab. So I'm going to cut. And that's just that cross member that goes in between the frame rails. I'm going to cut two pieces to go from there. Cope it out on this end. And then we'll weld it here and weld it there. I've got the two metal uprights in and the patch panels kind of tacked back in. They didn't fit the best, but eh, it'll work. So I'm gonna my next step will be putting bars across here. And then I'll work on something for the front half of it. I think I have decided that my best bet is to just go to the front and not worry about the rest of the cage for now i'm gonna go ahead and end this video off uh i'm gonna take a break from this i got some stuff to do this weekend then i'll come back to it and knock the rest of this out get my harnesses in and hopefully by the end of next week we'll maybe have something going on a on an engine i don't know what stuff he's done but we'll we'll get we'll get it no big deal but i'm gonna end it off now i appreciate you guys watching hanging out with me and uh, going through the struggles with me. I know a lot of you out there, if you've got some bills for No Name Nationals, especially you guys are feeling the same same pinch I'm feeling. Uh, most part, I, I do pretty good under pressure, and this is just how I've always done things. I just wait till the last minute, I procrastinate, and then, then I just get in there and get it done. I gripe and complain all the time, because the whole time, because I don't have time to do it. But anyways, uh, so you guys just have to suffer through watching my videos going going through that. My wife, she's a trooper. She's supporting me this whole time. Yeah, she's uh, she's the one who really has to put up with me whining and complaining. But anyways, we'll end it off here. Thanks for watching. Y'all keep your square bodies rolling or whatever project you're working on. And we'll talk to you later.